Um, Ron DeSantis just signed into law a, a new bill that would create the Office of Election Crimes and Security in Florida. Now, it used to be that election, uh, that, excuse me, voter fraud, they don't talk about election fraud in the Republican Party because that's what they practice, right? <laughs> January 6th was an attempt to conduct election fraud. Now, instead, what they talk about is voter fraud because voter fraud is about individual voters, and individual voters come in a whole bunch of different colors. Maybe you haven't noticed, but they do. There are white voters, there are Hispanic voters, there are black voters, there are you know, African-American voters, Asian voters, we have Native American voters. And it used to be that there was, down in Florida, a group of people who made sure that voter fraud didn't happen. That is to say, I mean, voter fraud is just Republican code for the wrong people voting. And that group that they used to have in Florida, I mean, they still have the group, but they, they forced the voting laws in Florida, was called the Klan, the Ku Klux Klan. And the Klan is no longer enforcing the voter laws. They're not showing up at the polling places intimidating people. I mean, they may in the 2024 election, now that the Republican Party is trying to recruit 50,000 Klan members and others to show up, you know, in the states where you can be armed, and now you've got, now we're up to 26 states now where you don't even have to have a permit. You can just stick a gun in your pocket. You don't even have to tell anybody. Show up at the polls. But basically, now that the Klan's not doing the job anymore in Florida, Ron DeSantis has come up with his own little personal, personal uh, squad. The Campaign Legal Center uh, last month said that this new partisan agency would open the door to voter intimidation and harassment. Gee, you think? It allows, see, right now, elections in Florida and in most parts of the country are conducted by nonpartisan officials. Now, in 20, 19 or 20 or 21 states, that has changed and partisan, well, specifically Republicans, now control the election procedures in those states. These are all changes since Trump tried to overthrow the government. But generally speaking, they're nonpartisan people. Well, this would create an agency that is answerable only to DeSantis. His own personal little clan, or whatever you want to call it. Nikki Freed, the state agriculture commissioner, who is probably going to be running against DeSantis in the election. She's in a primary right now. She said the governor's election police is political theater at best and a deliberate barrier to voting and a huge waste of millions of taxpayer dollars at worst. What's particularly weird about this is that in 2020, DeSantis came out and said that the elections were fair in, in, uh, in Florida. No voter fraud here. We got everything nailed down, everything's great. So why do they need this new agency? Well, Brian Griffin, a DeSantis spokesman, says uh, it will serve as a powerful deterrent. Right. 